You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about something that we have not experienced in quite some time. Two actual professional uh, professional baseball players showing their pride in their nation. This is this is something we look. I think we knew it existed. So many of these players have sort of uh, went quiet, and that's in every league. I wish more of them would speak up. I wish more of them would make stances, pro-American stances. The fact is, Major League Baseball at one time was, in my opinion, the most patriotic sport, right? July 4th, fireworks, hot dogs, everything that come came with baseball felt patriotic. It did. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure any league ever felt like it embraced America more than, than um, Major League Baseball, and that's what made what happened in Georgia so disappointing. So disappointing. But look, that was a Rob Manford thing. That was a Joe Biden thing. That was a Stacey Abrams thing. It's, this tells you right here, there are players out there that don't agree with all the narratives going on and just flat still love their country, okay? Very quickly, make sure you check out blackandwhitenetwork.com. Joint exclusive videos with myself and John Matrix, exclusive live streams, and if you are a Silver member, you can take part in a member panelist live stream like we had this past Saturday. It was a blast. Let's get on to these patriots who broke narrative from the Marxist Basketball Association and the MLB, all right? This is from OutKick. Ahead of the Cincinnati Reds-Pirates game Monday evening, two players had a friendly competition to show just how much they loved their country. Reds third baseman Alex Blandino, Pirates pitcher Luis Alvarito, stood and kept their hand on their hearts even after the national anthem ended in a competition of their own. It lasted for almost 10 minutes. Quote, when I tell you Blandino has not moved in the last five minutes, I'm not joking, one broadcaster said. That's the first time I've seen him move his head. He is in true form here as the Pirates and Reds are set to do battle. It doesn't look like either guy is giving in. As the teams began to take the field and officials prepared to begin the game, the two players just stood outside of the dugouts and let the preparations happen around them and the broadcasters Continue to call the friendly standoff. Good God, I'm surprised the woke SJWs on Twitter hadn't canceled everybody involved, including the broadcasters. Quote, I'm all Blandino, the second broadcaster said. That smirk is the first crack he has shown. Alvarito has outright broken multiple times. Blandino is money here. We are seconds away from the umpire chasing them back into the dugout, the third announcer said. And let's scroll down here because I think we can actually see this. Here, here they are right here. Oh, yeah, they're locked in. They're locked in. Hands over their hearts. Uh, yeah, caps, caps, hands over their hearts. They're in a standoff. They're in a standoff. And then, I can tell you right now, this video is 2 minutes and 15 seconds long. It's uh, no surprise that nearly 300,000 people have watched this uh, show of patriotism from these two Major League Baseball players. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's it's something we don't see enough now. After the two were warned by the to leave by the home plate umpire, probably received a call from Rob Manfred, who was watching this on television, they remained with their hand over their heart and steadily together. This is baseball chicken, the announcer says. But moments later, when the officials asked them to head to the dugout one more time, Alvarito went first. Blandino wins. The Reds have already already have a win today. And the broadcasters and the Reds, and of course, they tweeted out this video of these two with their hands patriotically over their heart. My God, this is exactly this is exactly the kind of thing we expect to see from Major League Baseball and their players not out there supporting Marxist ideals like some of them chose to last year. Brewers, Astros, yeah, I'm looking at you. Um, this is refreshing. We, we don't see this very often. We've only seen a few mainly former 
professional uh, sports figures come out and be pro-America, uh, look, pro-embracing our country's ideals, people like Herschel Walker, uh, people like Mike Ditka, some of these guys like that, Aubrey Huff, who played for the Giants, played for the Devil Rays. These guys are pro-America, Lenny Dykstra. And uh, now we see two players, one Red, one Pirates player, out there celebrating the country. Look, look, stood up there almost 10 minutes after the national anthem was over. And they were like, we're keeping our hands over our hearts. And this is what competition, this is what loving your country is supposed to be about. The competition of sport, the competition of who loves this country more. This is what we need back in our sports. This is what we need. And we need a lot of it now after all the damage that has been done from all these woke assholes. Let's be real. Let's be real. We need a lot more of this. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Look. We've had a lot of bad things to say about the MLB, but this is one of the good things. This is something we can actually say, wow, wow, somebody actually got out there and did it right. And look, we're going to make a point to show this stuff when it actually does happen. Good job, guys. Good job. Make sure you hit subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.